Haver FM, How Community Radio. Hello, and welcome to the first Haver FM, How Community Radio daily bulletin broadcast in association with Mental Health Awareness Week. From the 9th to the 15th of May, we'll be broadcasting a special bulletin every day where we have a little chat with key individuals from in and around the How. And with that out the way, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? My name's Keith. I am the Policy and Public Affairs Officer at the Mental Health Foundation Scotland, and I'm based in Edinburgh. So what actually is Mental Health Awareness Week? Mental Health Awareness Week is a campaign run by the Mental Health Foundation every year. Every year it focuses on a theme, and this year the theme that we've decided to go for is loneliness. So we know from our ongoing pandemic study that rates of loneliness have been higher than what they were pre-pandemic. And in our survey of a thousand Scots, a quarter of adults felt lonely some or all the time over the previous month. So we know that loneliness is a common feeling and loneliness is closely connected to poor mental health. And moreover than that, some people are at higher risk of feeling lonely than others. And that's something that we're really trying to get across. You know, people have kind of predetermined ideas of who might be most likely to feel lonely. But for example, young people, cares, LGBT plus people and people who are unemployed are actually more likely to feel lonely than um, the average population. So this Awareness Week is all about trying to open up a conversation, reduce stigma and trying to raise awareness around this important issue. How long has Mental Health Awareness Week been running and what kind of topics are covered? Mental Health Awareness Week is in it's it, it's well over ten years now, and we run various we've run various themes over those years. So themes range from all kinds of things. We've done a, a theme on sleep. We've done a theme on body image. Last year, our theme centered around connecting with nature, which again was heavily linked with our experiences as a society throughout the pandemic. And this idea around a connection with nature is actually something we've brought into this year's campaign around loneliness, around this idea about um, using green spaces, opportunities for people to connect with others in a meaningful way. Um, so it's been running for well over 10 years and every year we pick a different theme that we think is relevant to um, how people are feeling and where we think um, more attention needs to be. What the pandemic done in a way was kind of, inc- one of the main things was to increase people's sort of awareness and their own feelings actually of lonely and what it feels like to be isolated. And we know, like I said, that loneliness is a common feeling and loneliness in itself is not a mental health problem, but it can lead to mental health problems. And as I mentioned as well, you know, there are some groups of people who are more at risk of being lonely than others for different reasons. So these people include young people, carers, LGBT plus people, unemployed people. We know there's also issues as well. You know, you mentioned rural communities. We know people who live, a lot of people who live in rural communities might not have access to the same opportunities to connect with others in a meaningful way, either due to, you know, poor transport links or just lack of kind of community opportunities, like opportunities to exercise with other people and go for walks with other people in different groups. So we know that this is an issue right across Scotland. Uh, we know this is an issue that affects different groups of people as well. So we're hoping that this awareness week will start to shed some light on where these inequalities are. What kind of activities are featured during Mental Health Awareness Week? And how can the general public get involved and increase awareness? So there's lots of different activities going on, on as part of the Awareness Week. There's a schools pack that's been produced for schools to carry out activities. And we know lots of schools are getting involved in that. On Thursday, 12th of May, there is a Wear It Green Day. And so as part of that, people are encouraged to wear green and raise money for the Mental Health Foundation. There's still time to sign up for our 80 miles in May walking running challenge. This isn't something that I'm doing personally, but I know other people are much fitter than I am and I'll be taking part in that opportunity. And there's more information on our website as well at www.mentalhealth.org.uk forward slash mhaw. As well as that, we've got events in Parliament, in the Scottish Parliament and the UK Parliament. We've got a research report that's been published and we'll be present on various different forms of radio and TV programmes throughout the week to raise awareness around this issue. A final thing worth mentioning as well is we're inviting people to share their own experiences of loneliness. 
and how that's affected their mental health. There's a hashtag to use for that. It's hashtag I've been there. And the idea of this is hope that it can help people to open up that conversation to increase awareness and reduce stigma around loneliness. Hashtag I've been there. It's capital I, capital B, capital T, no apostrophe. So what is the follow-up to Mental Health Awareness Week looking like? And is there anything that local and national government can do to help? There will be a debate in the Scottish Parliament, perhaps towards the end of the month, in terms of the different activities that are being coordinated that I've outlined. There will be a kind of evaluation, if you like, of the engagement around all these things. We know our schools pack is really popular, so we'll be engaging with schools and hearing how they've been using that in the classroom and hearing about how the kids have been involved there. We'll have lots of materials on social media, which we'll be hoping that people are engaging with. And we're also hoping that the people who are active on social media will use the hashtag I've been there. There's lots of things that people can do in their own lives to help with feelings of loneliness. And I like the analogy that, you know, we can all water our own plants, but we actually need to work as a society to build a better forest. And by that, I mean, we need local and national governments to invest much more in opportunities in communities for people to connect with others in a meaningful way. So opportunities for people to volunteer as part of groups, for people to exercise as part of groups. We know that public green spaces are fantastic places where people can meet others and engage in these kind of group events in a meaningful way. So we need local and national governments to invest much more in making sure that these spaces are clean, that they're safe, that they're accessible. We know from our own you know, research and conversations with people that a lot of people just don't have access to these kinds of areas or you know, they might not feel safe at certain times of the day. And we know that's particularly a problem for women. So there's a lot of things we can do in our own lives. And you know, these can be really small things like going for a walk with a friend or giving your mom a ring on a Sunday night. But we do need that larger investment from governments in these opportunities in our communities where we can meet others. What else does the Mental Health Foundation do to help increase awareness for positive mental health? So the Mental Health Foundation, as well as hosting Mental Health Awareness Week in May, we also host the Scottish Mental Health Arts Festival, which is in its 16th year. The theme of this year is Gather, so it's very closely linked to our Mental Health Awareness Week campaign. And that arts festival has just got underway. And there's lots of events that you can find on our Scottish Mental Health Arts Festival website. So it'd be great if people can get involved. There's in-person events, there's online events, and there's lots of different ways where people can can be involved. It's a fantastic programme, and I'm sure people can get a lot out of it. Thank you very much for your time today, Stuart. And thank you for joining us on the very first Haver FM How Community Radio Daily Bulletin. Make sure to check out the Mental Health Foundation's website at www.mentalhealth.org.uk where you can find out how to get involved as well as see what kind of activities are available during Mental Health Awareness Week. Our featured track today is a cover of Sylvan Esso's Come Down by Ewan Stamper recorded live in Lethem Hall. Make sure to tune in to all our daily bulletins during Mental Health Awareness Week and tune in to Haver FM every day from the 16th to the 29th of May on 87.9 FM. While you're at it, have a look at our website where you can listen to our station digitally as well as find out about our upcoming projects and potentially get involved.
Haver FM, How Community Radio, is supported by the Five Communities Mental Health and Wellbeing Fund through Five Voluntary Action and the Scottish Government.